Welcome back to the finals of the Golden Trail World Series. We're here in Madeira for five days of back-to-back -back racing. There's gonna be huge tactics on display, more than the bottom of a grandmaster chess player. Madeira is an autonomous Portuguese island, 300 miles to the west of Morocco and 250 miles north of the Canary Islands. Discovered in 1418, there's an old town where they paint all of the doors with beautiful artistry. Madeira is based in the North Atlantic, so not only does that mean there's year-round good weather, but it has 25 different types of fruit and unique vegetation across the island. There are miles of trails, it quickly climbs up to 1,800 meters, and it never gets cold. So we can race every day on a different route. Let's check some out. Points from your best three races up till now carry through to the finals, where there are five races, each worth a maximum of 100 points, except for the middle day, which is a 5K race for 50 points. On top of that, there are segments that you can win prizes and an overall crown for the fastest ascender, descender, and sprinter. Welcome to the first stage of the Golden Trail World Series Finals. All the athletes are here showing their tactics. They'll be more on display than a chess grandmaster's bottom. First up is 22 Ks of running with 1,500 meters of elevation. It looks like it's dry, but storms are brewing. In the men's, Remy has to be the favorite. The only people I think who can stop him are possibly El Hussein or Manu. In the ladies, Ninka surely has to be the favorite, but when it's, get, when it's wet, that means people like Ali Mack and Sophia Lockley can challenge. It's gonna be close. Let's get to the action. And um, felt good, which you usually do the first like mile and then it sits in. But once we hit the stairs, which I train on a lot at the incline, it just, that's something I like to do and I've done a lot of. And I just started kind of picking people off. I was in third for women and um, we were all kind of together. And so I kind of pulled away and then I was picking some guys off. And just, well, I do a lot of power hiking on steep stuff, but I felt like I kept a running motion almost the whole uphill today, which was really fun. Yeah, I knew like before to come here that the shape was good, so I decided to like take the leads and push. And then in the flat, I saw Elusin behind me, not so far, so I tried to calm down a bit and uh, like to drink and take a gel. Then when we go down, I saw that I was a bit faster than Elusin, so it gave me a bit of confidence. And then I, I keep pushing in the downhill, but uh, I try to didn't take risk in the in the hard section. So I think I control it really well, and uh, 
I hope tomorrow uh, it will be quite the same. What a first stage. We've only just dried out, but the weather played a massive impact today. Remy held on to El Haseen battling back, and Petru Mamu showed that he really has fantastic skills in the wet. We, it was the start of the downhill segment, and then I look back and it's Ninke. Honestly though, like I was having a lot of fun out there, and I told myself, my Marla character fight club kicked in, and um, there's a quote, uh, run until your muscles burn and your veins pump battery acid. <laughs> and that like came in my head, and I was like, you gotta go. Like don't, like I love downhill, don't lose it on the downhill. the ladies, Ali Mack wins her first series win, which is incredible given the week she's had getting here. Ninka looked cool, in control, and in third, Elise Ponset, she's the downhill queen. I wasn't really sure how far Sarah was behind me, um, and then she caught up to me on the really curved steps, maybe 2k to go, and then we had like a real sprint at the finish line, um, and I knew she would be going for it, so I was kind of just all in. On to tomorrow, 26 kilometers with 1,400 meters. Not everyone's gonna be racing and people are also gonna be battling for the segment crowns. Stay tuned because it's gonna be a Royal Rumble. Polish strategy for today. What is it, the strategy of the Polish? Coco Jumbo, eat up for Yeah, today goes as planned, like I was going for the win at the beginning, so I try to directly take the lead from the, from the gun and to, to do like a good first and second appeal to make some time to the other. From the start I felt really good um, and then I just wanted to, to, to go at my pace and yeah, it paid off, I think. In the first 10k or so, I, I passed a few girls, I felt really strong, I, I realized that these were my conditions and I needed to just go if my body was feeling good. We're at the 7k mark and it's pretty hot. The dampness of yesterday is turning into humidity. But at the front we've got three runners, Remy, Elusine and Petro, looking pretty relaxed and battling head to head. In the ladies, Ninkas eked out a bit of a lead over Fillories, but behind them are Bailey and Danny. Danny's rested, it's going to be close for second and third I think. So um, at the beginning I was uh, trying to hold on to the leading group but I realised that the pace was beyond what I wanted to put in at that point because there was a long way to go. So I was happy to keep my pace, I always want to run at my pace um, and I felt good at the top so when it started to flatten out I was able to put some more energy in, uh, overtook a couple of people and managed to hold on to the downhill which is probably my weakest. We were going a good pace, but it wasn't a pace that I felt should have felt. 
as hard as it did in that moment. And I knew that my body wasn't uh, in its normal state at that point. Uh, in the end of the race, so you, you end with a big downhill with a lot of steps. So then I, I, I got a little bit afraid that uh, like Elise or, or someone like this uh, would catch me because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fast in, on the downhill at all. And, um, but luckily I, I had a good lead. What a race! Who could have predicted that podium at the start of today? The heat had as much of an impact as tired muscles, but not for Remy. He looks so supremely good right now. Is he going to win every day? But in second place, Thomas Roach from the National Series stepping up and beating so many elite athletes. An incredible result for him. And Bart returning to the podium. So good to see. He took it easy yesterday and he's growing in strength. In the women, Sophia and Ali were taking it easy, but not Ninke. Unopposed from start to finish, but in second place, Bailey Kowalskitz showed how good she is on the downhills for her first podium of the season, as is Julie Rue coming through from about seventh at halfway to take third for the first time in the series. Well done everyone, we'll be back tomorrow for a super fast 5k sprint. Many runners will be returning and it starts with a super fast sprint segment. It's going to be hot from the start. See you then. Stage 3 started quite late in the day, it was kind of hard to get my head around. In the beginning I was a bit afraid for such a short race because it will be quite explosive. I was young, I had dreams of glory. All these mistakes seem to come like a flood. Until my day. The strategy was to don't fall, don't be injured, so I I start with Thibaut, so I follow him and then I did the segment. I try to push a bit more. Pick myself up, move to the beat of my heart and my soul, sing a song for the dreamer. Sophie and I were in the same group together, so we got to start um, second overall, which was nice. We didn't have to wait around. Um, and our goal was kind of to work together, and we did. Well, I see you run, let's shine that time trial I was with Yuli that she starts super fast for going to the sprint segment so I try to follow her and I feel good and I finished fourth and it was a surprise for me. Watch uh, like the clock, and I see that I was way under the time to beat. But I didn't. I was not thinking that Elusin was faster than me, so I was a bit disappointed at the end. But that's the game. It was so beautiful. The weather was good. It was like a fast course, and then I really got into it. Sophia and I did, after the time trial, we were kind of like a little salty not to win. So, um, so we were like, ah, let's, uh, let's split up the next two races. You try to win Saturday, and I'll try to win Sunday.
Mike is back. That stage did not disappoint. To start with the uphill segment, just set it on fire. Remy attacked on it, but he didn't realize El Hussein was holding back, was smooth throughout, and untethered El Hussein took the win. Remy in second, and Petro Mano back on form for third. In the ladies, Ali and Sofia took it out hard together. She took the segment, but they got lost three times, giving Ninka a gap. Ninka in first, Ali second, and Sofia third. Let's see what that's done to the overall rankings. After today's win, Remy practically can't be caught. He finishes, he wins the overall series. But Thibaut and El Hussein are now moving up strongly. Thibaut has a strong second position, and El Hussein is in third, but behind them, it is tight. In the women's, Ninka has won the world title and on her birthday. Sara Alonso is now in second with 658 points and Sophia Lockley close behind in 6.43. Tomorrow's race is 26 kilometers, but there's almost 2,000 meters of ascent and people are looking tired. Bart has a big gash on his knee. We're not sure if he'll be back. Danny Marino sadly had to take a drip and so is out of the series. But people like Sara, Caitlin, El Hussein and Danny Osans are looking like they're starting to flag and it's a long, long race. Let's see how they're gonna get on. I decided I was going to race the fourth day, um, but thought it would be fun to keep it a secret and like show up race day. Manu decided to take the lead from the, the start and the plan was, was to, to follow the order until the last appeal. But I see Manu going like way in front and I say to myself, no, it's me, normally we'll go in front. So I catch him and then I, I push all the, all the way. Remy was about five minutes up, and then it was uh, me in second and Elazine uh, just uh, sitting on my tail. All of a sudden, the downhill monsters started flying by me. Et ensuite, je les ai lâchés, je pense, aux trois quarts de la montée. Puis après, je suis revenu assez rapidement sur Bailey. Euh, juste avant la bascule, justement, pour, euh, pour euh, entamer la descente. The first climb, I was first, and then in the first downhill, Sophia overtook me, but I was able to catch her at the, um, a flatter segment. Halfway in the race, and Remy is building his lead, but behind him is a massive group. Thibaut, Eli Hebbing, El Hussein, but most importantly, Manuel Murias is in that group, and he can descend powerfully. If anyone could catch Remy, it's gonna be him. In the ladies, Sofia has started the race. No one expected her to be here today, and she is attacking Ninka. Ninka doesn't need to win. Will she let her go, or will her pride take over? And behind them, Elise Ponset has separated from the group, and a surprise Johanna Alström is having a great race. Those are your top four.
I think I am in the best shape of my life. Like even now, I don't have like really pain in the legs, so it's the proof that I was really well prepared. Wow, stage four is over. Remy could not pull in, but the battle from the top to the bottom was incredible. Roy went hard, El Hussein sat on his shoulder, and Thibaut was hanging in there for the overall title points. Come the bottom, El Hussein broke. Second, Roy third. What a race. In the ladies, Sofia attacked on the downhill, really in Ninka, but Ninka attacked back on the up to take the overall victory. Sofia in second, and Elise with a strong performance on the second uphill and downhill took third. Tomorrow's race, the final stage, 30 kilometers with about 1400 meters up and 2000 meters down. That is deep. The big battle is the men's, El Hussein against Thibaut. If El Hussein wins, Thibaut needs third. If El Hussein comes second, Thibaut needs fourth. It's going to be super tight and Remy's going to be battling for Thibaut. Today I knew at the start that I had already won the circuit, so I had less pressure. But I think the motivation was for Thibaut like, to, to try to, to keep his second place. Before stage five, I was a bit nervous. I, I knew that I was only 10 points behind Caitlin, so I knew that that was a goal, but at the same time, I just wanted to make it to the finish line. Today's strategy was just race. Just like go out from the gun and get as hard, far away as possible so then it'll be harder for them to catch me. was yeah super sore again today and so I felt like I just wasn't really couldn't really push that hard. I have a list at home where I read uh, all the races that I want to win and that was part of the list so it's really nice to, to do it now. To win like with the Golden Trail Series banner, it was really exciting today. <laughs> I couldn't have imagined that I won the, the Golden Trail series. I really had to realize, yeah, but I won the overall. 
I'm just so grateful for the way this season has gone and, and I'm really surprised with how it's turned out. We're here at the last 100 meters of the finish line. You can see the runners flying by in the men's. Remy came first, but most importantly, El Hussein came second. Petra Mamu is in third, Rui fourth, and Thibaut in fifth. In the ladies, on her birthday, Ali took it out from the start and could not be caught. Ninka in second, but Julie Rue in third. What a powerful descent for her second third of the season. Let's see what it does for the overall standings. Remy Benet extends his lead. What more can he say about his performance? But El Hussein jumps Thibaut to take second in the series. Thibaut in third. Roy Arido in fourth. Eli Hemming hangs on for fifth. Robert Kemboy overtakes Manuel for sixth, as does Denny Assans for seventh. Manuel Marias in eighth. Anthony Felber in ninth. And Petro Mamu on the final day coming through to round off our top ten. In the ladies, Ninka Brinkman over a thousand points. Just incredible. Sophia Lockley put it all out there today to hold on to second ahead of Sara Alonso in third. Elise Ponset in fourth. With a strong finish, Bailey Kowalski jumps to fifth. Caitlin Fielder in sixth. Julie LaRue in seventh. Marcella Vasanova in eighth. Ali McLaughlin jumps into the top ten in ninth. And Therese LaBeouf finishes off our top ten. It's goodbye from Madeira and the Golden Trail Series for another year. So subscribe, like, but most importantly, lace up those trainers, get out on the trail, and happy trails. See you next year.